all right, solving equations, and then we always tell students, and check your answer by substituting the uh, your answer into the equation, right? And students, uh, unless we're like forcing them to do it, they never enjoy uh, substituting to check their answer. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use graspable math to one, make solving equations fun, and second, students are actually going to enjoy substituting their answer in to check their work. So let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna begin by, okay, I'm at graspablemath.com, uh, yeah, graspablemath.com, right up there, graspablemath.com, and then uh, I'm gonna click on insert. Now, I've already done that, that's why you're seeing that little thingy there. I'm gonna click on insert, and let's type in some sort of expression. Uh, so, did you see what I did? All I did was click on insert math expression. It pulls up this keyboard thing, and now I'm gonna type it in. All right, and now that it's typed in, I've just click on done, and there I go. I've got my equation right there. Uh, uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, and then I'm gonna click on this arrange button, and that allows me to move it anywhere on the camp uh, on the canvas. I'm gonna click the transform, and you'll notice when I mouse over the equation in this case, or an expression, whatever, but I'm gonna mouse over it, and you'll notice this little dot shows up there. Now I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna drag it way over here, because all that does is makes it makes an exact copy of the original equation, and if I don't like exactly where it placed it, I could just move it around, uh, but that's good enough right there. I'm gonna go back into transform, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, graspable math to solve this equation. Now, graspable math will not allow students to do anything illegal, mathematically illegal. It will allow students to do something oh, non-traditional or atypical, but it will always preserve the mathematics, so the mathematics will always be correct. So, uh, taking a look at this equation, oh, I think the first thing I'm, I might do is I might distribute that three. Now it's gonna cause me to distribute the three and the negative separately. So that's okay, so I'm gonna click on that three, I'm gonna drag it inside the parentheses, and, am I, and it, the blue is where that three is gonna show up. Do I wanna put it in the front or in the back? It doesn't really matter, I'll put it in the front. It solves it, it simplifies it, and now I want to distribute that negative. Now, in this case, you, as I click that negative, it's taking that entire expression. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna double click that minus sign and that distributes the negative across that parenthesis. If I wanna simplify this 8x and 6x, I could grab the plus and put it right on top. Notice I'm holding that plus 6x and I can put it right on top of that 8x. It simplifies. Or I could have um, double clicked that plus sign and it would also simplify. So I have some choices here. Um, nothing else for me to simplify on that left side, so let's focus on the right side now. I'm gonna distribute that five, so I'm gonna click on that five, drag it into the parentheses, simplify stuff. Now, in order to start uh, removing values from the left or the right side, oh, let's say I'm gonna, I wanna get rid of that 10x, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold down the shift key. So I'm holding down the shift key with my uh, finger. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight just that 10x and I'm gonna move it over to the left side and it becomes a negative 10x. I'm gonna hit the minus sign. That simplifies, so now I have 4x and then that minus 15. So I'm gonna highlight that minus 15 and move it over to the right. Click on the plus sign and then drag over that four, and I now have that x is equal to 15 halves. All right, so now I'm gonna click on that dot and kind of close up all my work so that I can see my final answer. x is equal to 15 halves. Now folks, you know darn well it's almost impossible to get students to check their work, doubly so when it's a fraction. So check this out. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this X. I'm gonna click and hold on that X. I'm gonna go way over here, and look what happens when I mouse over an X, that X highlights, and it doesn't matter which X I put it on top of, it's going to 
highlight that X. Now watch what happens. When I let go, every X is going to be replaced by that 15 halves. Wah, bam. And because I know that I'm going to need a little extra room right here, I'm going to scooch that over, go back into transform mode. And so now we've substituted every X with 15 halves. And now it's a matter of just clicking the order through the order of operations in order to simplify both the left and the right sides. So, uh, oh, let's start by simplifying this outside portion. So I'm going to click that minus, I mean that multiplication symbol. I'm going to click that multiplication again, click the division symbol, and that outside is now equal to 60. And if I want to, I can kind of close up my work. And, oh, let's solve the inside this parenthesis. So, oh, let's do the multiplication first. Then we can do the multiplication again. And then I'll click on that division. And so we get negative 15. And I can continue simplifying inside that parenthesis and by clicking on that plus sign. And, oh, let's continue click uh, simplifying that left side. I'll take care of the... Now, watch what happens if I tried to go out of the order, out of the out of the order of operations. And if I click on this minus, it's shaking its head. It's saying no, that you are not allowed to do the subtraction yet because you've got this multiplication out here waiting. So I'm going to click on that multiplication. Now I can add and I get 90 for the left side and I can continue closing up all that work. And now let's simplify the right side. So let's start by doing that multiplication bringing it into the numerator, click on that multiplication again, simplifying it to 30, solve the division, add inside the parentheses, I get five times 18, and look at that. My, my left side is 90, my right side is 90, and there we have solved the equation on the left side. Look at that, there's our, we've solved the equation on the left side. I'm gonna shrink that so we can see it a little bit. Uh, so we've, man, look at all that work we've done. <laughs> My goodness. So we simplify or solve the equation on the left. And then we, uh, this is going to be huge. Look at that. <laughs> and then we simplify or substituted to check our work on the right side. Hey folks, that is using graspable math to do two things. One, solve the equation, and then two, substitute back in to check your work. Hey folks, please click subscribe. Uh, if there's something that you want me to, a uh, video that you want me to make for you, let me know in the comment section. See ya.